oil and gas companies must significantly reduce their emissions in just two years. Governor Jared Polis sent the directive today and says Colorado is the first state in the country to create a comprehensive nitrogen oxides reduction program. Katie Eastman spoke with him this afternoon and joins us live with what he had to say. Katie. Yeah, Kim and Alex, this directive means that oil and gas companies will have to reduce their nitrogen oxides emissions by 30% in two years and 50% by 2030. The governor's office says this kind of immediate cut will significantly improve air quality. Governor Polis said the technology to do this, it already exists and some companies are using it. The directive will apply to oil extraction and it will mean things like more electric drilling and replacing diesel engines and generators with electric. Governor Polis says this will also help Colorado get away from sanctions for not meeting Clean Air Act standards. One of those penalties that is being talked about is potential, would could potentially raise the cost of gas at the pump. We want to avoid that. We think better ways to get there make drilling cleaner, which we're doing. Uh, incentivize EVs. We rolled out a package to reduce the cost of EVs, $5,000 tax credit for EVs, making them more affordable. E-bikes, uh, also looking at things like lawn blowers, leaf blowers, uh, uh, all of those kinds of technology, which also use very inefficient engines. And how can we save people money, be more convenient with moving that to electric? In a statement, the president of the Colorado Oil and Gas Association, Dan Haley, said we've cut our emissions in half since 2013 with more reductions on the way as technology improves. However, the NOx targets as outlined by the governor are very ambitious and will be a challenge to achieve. COGA is also concerned about legislation that has created a backlog of drilling permits. Governor Polis said Part of today's announcement will mean that companies who are going above and beyond when it comes to cutting emissions could get faster approval of those drilling permits. Kim and Alex. Hmm. It's aggressive and as you can tell from oil and gas, there are already a little bit of pushback on how we can achieve it. Yep, there is. Okay, thanks Katie.